I went to university and put in hours upon hours of studying just to get a PhD in mastery camel grinding. With this doctorate degree, I have applied it and unlocked every single mastery camel in COD history, except for Infinite Warfare and COD Online because those games both suck. Today, as the world's leading camo expert, I'm going to rank every mastery camo from COD 4 till Vanguard. Only the mastery camos though, because I don't want to sit here and rank 84 different gold camos. There are some games where the mastery camo is gold and that's the top camo. There is some games where there are two mastery camos as well because there's a zombies mastery camo and a multiplayer mastery camo. I don't know why I'm explaining this. Everyone should understand exactly what mastery camos are and how they work. And if not, well, good luck, Charlie. We're going to rank them on a tier list today. Just kidding. Everyone hates tier lists. Boo. We're doing something interesting today. A single elimination tournament bracket to decide what the best mastery camo of all time is. The bracket has been randomly generated by a computer. So if you don't like any of the matchups, I don't know what to say other than cry about it. I'm very interested to see all the angry gamers in the comment section who got their preferred camo eliminated in this tournament. There's going to be people that share what they think should have won. And jokes aside, that's pretty cool. Let's get into round one. There wasn't enough camos to make a perfect bracket, so we have to do preceding. Matchup one, Obsidian versus World War II's Chrome camo. Here's how it's gonna work. Two camos are matched up against each other. I'm gonna pick which camo moves on based on my personal preference. What I'm judging the camos on is my experience with them. That's either unlocking them, the grind, how enjoyable they were to get, if they look good. There's no tricks with this. It's really straightforward. Obsidian camo's moving on. This is a simple decision. I love how Obsidian looks, and I hate how Chrome looks. World War II was an okay game, and it had a decent camo grind. Having Chrome as your reward for all that time and effort? No thank you. Diem Ultra and Royalty Camo. I fell in love with camel grinding around Advanced Warfare. Having something that not a lot of people unlocked was a huge incentive for me to get into camel grinding where I tried to get royalty on every single category in that game. Too bad the camo sucks. Everyone's gonna be surprised. This is gonna be news headlines tomorrow. DM Ultra moves on. Crazy upset. No one saw this one coming. Chrome Tiger and Ghost's Gold Camo. For those that live under a rock or are 12 years old and Modern Warfare was their first Call of Duty ever, Chrome Tiger was the original Obsidian camo. You had to get Chrome, which was the equivalent of Damascus, and then you had to do even more challenges that were so forgettable. Gold is moving on to the next round. Neither of these camos have any wow factor, but I'd rather throw gold on my gun than Chrome Tiger. Doing twice the challenges just to unlock a camo that's extremely ugly looking? You've gotta be kidding me. This is originally where Sledgehammer Games started making the worst decisions in Call of Duty history. From that moment in time, they haven't done anything good. Black Sky and Atomic. Everyone fasten your seatbelts and strap in. This is gonna be a roller coaster of emotion. Black Sky moves on whoa it was so crazy no one saw it coming yeah i mean let's be honest atomic isn't the best looking camo ever and to pin it up against one of the best looking camos ever it doesn't take sherlock holmes to figure this one out everyone and their really attractive hot moms by the way my dms are open to know that black sky is moving on that concludes round one of the preceding so we can go on with the rest of the bracket Obsidian and Modern Warfare 2's Fall Camo. A lot of people are going to be like, Well, Modern Warfare Fall's Camo is technically not a mystery camo because it's not gold. Yeah, grow up. It's still losing to the beautiful camo that Obsidian is. Obsidian's grind is fantastic and is so much fun to unlock. I'm not going to disrespect Fall like that. Unfortunately, there's just years of learning and development that future mastery camos had that Fall didn't. Solar versus Diamond. I don't like Infinite Warfare's multiplayer at all. There is only one thing in it that I like, and that's the Black Sky camo. And last time I checked, we're talking about Solar. Black Ops 2 and Diamond is better in every single way. Better game, better grind, better looking. Yeah, fuck you, Solar. DM Ultra and Dark Aether, the Cold War matchup that I'm going to be left shaking and crying after. I knew eventually two camos that I absolutely love were going to go head to head. It's so easy to get rid of my ugly and least favorite camos, but between these two, I gotta pick DM Ultra. I know it's gonna be blasphemy. 
everyone's gonna be pitchforks and torches. There's something about the space themed dark matter black sky camos that has everyone in a trance thinking they're the best in the franchise. While I think they do look good, I like DM Ultra better. That should be no surprise to anyone who's seen my Cold War camo videos. Black Ops 3's Dark Matter and Dark Aether from Vanguard. I know this is going to make everyone really angry, but just hear me out. Dark Aether is the better camo here and let me explain why. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Obviously Dark Matter is the better camo, are you kidding me? Animated green tiger camo, get out of here. Literally the worst camo ever created mastery wise other than the chromes. The Battle of Gold, Black Ops 1 and COD Ghost. This is just which one looks better. I can understand that some people would think Ghosts is the better camo here, but they're blind and can't see because Black Ops 1 wins. Are you kidding me? It's the best gold camo in COD history. Even in 2022, they have yet to make a gold camo look as good as Black Ops 1. Whoever made this camo not only drank from the Fountain of Youth, but also had the Philosopher's Stone. This camo is just beautiful. The OG gold camo versus Damascus. You can only get gold for one weapon in every category, and you don't even get to choose what weapon that is. And that's a rare L from Infinity Ward. I'll give him a pass though, because this was what, 2008? I don't mean to blue ball you, Damascus moves on. I just find it very odd that they didn't let you get gold on anything you wanted. Gold versus Black Sky. Remember how I said rare Infinity Ward L? I take that back because the biggest L is Infinite Warfare as a game, and I hate that Black Sky is moving on here. Let's just get that out of the way. Modern Warfare does everything better except the Mastery Camo. I know it's just a case of Modern Warfare 3 didn't come out during the Mastery Camo era, so there wasn't really any fighting chance here. It's just so stupid because I hate Infinite Warfare so much. Exclusion Zone and Black Ops 4's Dark Matter. You're gonna want to get your torches out for this one if you're a Treyarch fan. I hate this version of Dark Matter. To contradict myself, I love how the black and red looks. It is fantastic. It's a reactive camo though, so if you try to use the camo for more than 5 seconds, the best looking part of it goes away. What is that? Hello Treyarch, good morning! Make a good decision for once! Ding ding ding, Exclusion Zone moves forward, it's a better camo and a better game. I didn't even think about that till now. Modern Warfare Master is 10 times better of a game than Black Ops 4. My, we're talking multiplayer, because Blackout and Zombies was pretty good, I like those. If you had the choice to pick any of the reactions for Dark Matter and choose it as a static camo, we can end the video right here and the tournament ends. Dark Matter from Black Ops 4 would win. The black and red unreacted version, let's make that abundantly clear. The change ruins the camo completely for me. Quarterfinal time, top eight. Modern Warfare's Obsidian versus Black Ops 2's Diamond. I mean, I didn't really think about how hard of a choice this was gonna be. I was gonna just snap my fingers and say Obsidian. I was still gonna pick Obsidian. I really like both of these camos. I think it's just because I've played Modern Warfare more recently that I'm not a huge fan of BO2. And hold the phone. You don't need to publicly execute me. We're talking about camos. If I had to pick between a better game, Black Ops 2 would win. I would still most likely play Modern Warfare 2019 over BO2 in this day and age. BO2 is still a better game, and I'm only saying that because I don't want to become the most wanted fugitive in the COD community. Obsidian, better camo. DM Ultra, dark matter. Suit up and grow a pair, because I'm about to hit you with some hard facts. If DM Ultra is going to beat out Dark Aether, then DM Ultra is going to beat Dark Matter. If you're upset about it, call a guidance counselor, because I don't care. If this was a matchup between Dark Aether and Dark Matter, I would pick Dark Aether. So let's do the math. One plus one is two. DM Ultra is better than Dark Aether. I'm glad we all agree. Golden Damascus. This is a hard one. And I'm not just saying that. I am triple bricked up because these two camos are sexy. Let's look at the facts using math and science. Damascus has the better grind. It's more enjoyable. There's more to do. Based on how the camos look, I'm on the fence. It could go either way. Simple, clean, sexy looking camos. Damascus has to win. I'm a huge fan of the grind. Thinking about it, I also like how it looks better. I honestly would have put gold through if it was more of a novelty camo and not in every single game we see now. Black Sky and Exclusion Zone. Not biased whatsoever, fuck you Infinite Warfare. 
exclusion zone wins. We'll have a nice funeral or service to say goodbye to Black Sky. Modern Warfare is a better game. I like the grind in Modern Warfare better, and I like how exclusion zone looks better. Now that's going to be sacrilegious to a lot of these COD nerds who are like, uh, technically wild. Black Sky is the best looking camo ever and Infinite Warfare is a great game. Shut your mouth. You're wrong. I don't like the look of Black Sky as much as I used to. The same thing with gold from Black Ops 1. Because we see this purple space camo so often, it's losing that novelty. It's time for the semifinals, the final four camos. Easiest decisions of my life. If someone asked me if I would like to take a free million dollars, I would have the answers to these four camos faster than me saying yes for that million dollars. We have Obsidian versus DM Ultra and Exclusion Zone versus Damascus. I have nothing bad to say about any of these camos and if you were to give me one of them, I wouldn't complain. DM Ultra, I'm moving to the finals and the same with Exclusion Zone. These two camos for the final are my S tier camos. They're my favorite camos in COD history and you're probably at the edge of your seat right now wondering which one I'm going to select as the best camo of COD history with my PhD in mastery camo grinding. Drum roll please. The winner is Vanguard's Dark Aether, everyone's favorite mastery camo. I was going to let that joke sink in for a little, but Exclusion Zone is the actual winner. It's my favorite mastery camo of all time in all aspects. It's that simple. And for all those toddlers who can't understand a tournament bracket, here's the tier list and where I would put each camo respectively. That's the video. Bye.